Oh, uh, Red backs are straight into that one. Wow, look at that. Oh, man, this is just so horrific to watch, but so beautiful as well. Warning, this video contains graphic images of deadly spiders that are so deadly, even deadly things are eaten by them. Now that's deadly. Oh, isn't Fluffy beautiful? And she's actually helping me find some critters for the red back home. This is what I've been finding in the garden so far, uh, but there's one critter I'd like to really find to add to this week's critter collection. I know these little things are about, they have been fairly elusive and maybe the reason why I've got a red back plague, but I'm really keen to find one. I'm sure if I keep looking very carefully here, I'm going to come across one. And the problem is I may come across more red backs, but maybe down here somewhere is exactly what I'm after. Uh, down there is what I'm after. Just got to get them out. Being very gentle here, I think these guys will be a game changer. Well, Fluffy's helping me as well. She gets excited when she sees skinks, and unfortunately, I think she may have got rid of a few that we really needed around. But what has really alarmed me, and I'm no surprise at all, is when I look up here, at that down there, there's another red back nest. Why aren't I surprised? So I have to come in for a very special uh, strike here, I believe. Mummy's never going to find out. And my goodness me, look at that giant slug of all the babies around there. That is just disgusting, isn't it? Yuck! Right here, I've grabbed the lizards from where I can. I'm going to give these red bags a lick of fire. And I know that is going to sort it out. It does every time. Goodbye, Mr. and Mrs. Redback, and all of your little babies as well. Well, from looking around the garden for about 10 minutes, I really was after skinks, but I found a few other things as well. I even found an old bottle there. Finding more Redbacks wasn't nice, but we've dealt with them, and I'll add these guys into my Redback tank. Oh yeah, there has been a lot of things going on in the last week with my Redback tank. There is a lot of interest in this now, and sadly the YouTube videos are lagging. Uh, between the time I shoot them and show them on YouTube. Uh, this is what it's looking like getting into week four and well there's been a lot of births going on inside the tank. Because this is week four it gets a fourth silver dot there and the black dot means that was a week when uh, egg sacs were laid up and because two more egg sacs have been laid between week three and week four it also gets a black dot. Adding the Vaseline was a magic trick. I also put a bit of Vaseline along the glass here. The spiders cannot get past the Vaseline or make web across the top. So I can get the lid off without the threat of spiders. Just looking down on the top to start with, there's Thomas there. The plants have grown up a bit more. You can see some red backs around. Some of them may be a bit hard to see because they are dark against dark. There's one just at the end of the tweezers there. Going up to the back of the cat truck, the little house spider I put in has actually died. He's passed away. He's actually down there. He doesn't move at all. Strangely, he wasn't eaten by the redbacks, but I'll talk about that maybe later on. There's another redback down there. Turning this spider home around now, looking at the other end, and it was the YouTuber Beanmeister22, someone I've known for a long time on YouTube, said to me, Leo, with all those redbacks you've got through your home, do something with them that's productive. There's a female there. Uh, these are the two oldest egg sacs, in a sense. They were the, what I call the week three egg sacs. I think they're very close to, to hatching done some reading up on those there is a very small female just below her and then looking over to the other side uh, reveals the two egg sacs which were laid during the week nice female there and there is the male feeding on the carcass of a cricket and I know you'll want to count and I'm a bit curious about a count as well I know uh, a red back was eaten during the week but let's count them the one big female there that's one there's the male there that's two the big female here, three. The smaller female at the back there makes four. The female down the back there, that's five. One right there, six. And the one who's very hard to see down in the dirt makes seven. You may ask, do redback spiders share their meals? Well, from what I can see, yes, they do. I think this, the sharing of meals is under sufferance. I don't often see two females sharing a meal. It's often a large female and a small one, or a, a large female and a male. They have their own little zones. I like to keep to themselves and keep their own little territories in the tank. Although, it is strange to see these two females here setting up so close together. Some of the spiderlings for week one are still around and they have grown a fair bit. Although it's very hard to tell looking through a camera like this. And if you look carefully around the tank, you'll see more. 
poor old Thomas the Tank, he's actually looking a little bit worse for wear. Uh, a lot of his paint has been nibbled away at by little critters. I think the ladybugs are having feeds from Thomas. Mind you, I haven't seen a ladybug around. I wonder where they've gone. Uh, but overall, Thomas is looking a little bit worse for wear. Quite a few people asked, what were the orange things at the front of this tank? They were carrots for the insects to eat. I mean, I want the insects to be happy in there because if the insects are happy, well, the redbacks get happy as well. Okay, time to name that bug. Whatever that thing there is, it's just crawling. I'm going to try and get that into the tank. It might be a bit hard to catch. Devilish looking thing, isn't it? Ooh. I mean, what is that thing? It looks like the devil designed it, doesn't it? Well, I want to get this into the tank. I want it to be a red back killer. And it goes. Whoa, uh, red backs are straight into that one. Wow, look at that. They see that as a threat. That was instantaneous reaction then. As soon as that critter hit, it's in a lot of trouble. I'm not going to turn the camera off. I think that female is doing everything it can uh, to protect those egg sacs. It's going to come in for a bite. Oh, this is just horrific to watch. As soon as that creature landed in there, it was in trouble. I mean, look at that female there. She is highly protective. She is coming in and she's doing a web, I think, around that bug. Sadly, I can't name that bug. I'm, I don't know everything about bugs. It is just horrific to watch. Look at the female go. I think they go for the legs or something. They get a bite in the legs. Hope I'm getting this right. Oh man, this is just so horrific to watch, but so beautiful as well. And the Millennium Falcon is featuring beautifully here, in this shot here. It looks great, doesn't it? I suppose it's that female must see that as a major threat. Okay, and I'm sure the audience will ex ex explain to me what that bug was. Whatever it is, it's going to be a dead one. Yeah, look at the way they'll get into a leg. That's the thing with redbacks. They've got to get into something small because their jaws aren't that big. But boy, don't they do it beautifully. Oh, I think that is just amazing how efficient that was. As soon as that bug landed, bang, that female came in for the strike. And it's all over Red Rover. Uh, amazing when they come in for the kill. And what I can work out and what I've seen before is they'll get venom into the critter. And then they wait a while and they'll come back and they'll suck it to absolutely zero. Well, I'm sure the Star Wars fans are be excited that finally the Millennium Falcon is seeing some major action here. Oh, just watching that spider work just gives you shivers, doesn't it? What I've worked out is uh, the Redbacks, um, they'll either get the huff instantly about a critter or they'll let a critter go. When I put the wolf spider into this tank, when was it back in week two, uh, the Redbacks sorted it out very fast. It's the same with this creature here. Now, it's not as if she was hungry. She was already sucking that cricket to nothing. She's done this to protect her eggs, so uh, she's obviously very, very proud of what she's laid up during the week. And I'm pretty sure that venom would be taking effect. That bug isn't looking as sprightly as it was before it came into the tank. That happened really fast, and the female is now retreated back to her egg sacs. And for that bug there, it's good night, sister. Yes, the redbacks, once they see a major threat, they'll take it out instantly. I'm going to put some millipedes in here because I'm pretty sure that's what they like to eat. I might put it right there. I'm going to pick up another one, just to the side of the camera, and put it right there. And so often I've seen dead millipedes around where the redbacks do their webs. I've got a couple more millipedes. I'm not a troublemaker, but I'm going to put it there. And because I'm not boring, I'm also going to give that egg sack a bit of a millipede razz up. Oh, her mother doesn't like it. Now that's the one which has just given the kiss of death to that other bug. Is it going to let that millipede scamper around those eggs? If you're a gambling man, who would you have your money on? Red back or that thing with a billion legs? Well, and your mother has re gone back to sucking a cricket and the millipede's going down to the soil. Hope it is a millipede. If it's a centipede, I'm gone. As for the other one, well, it's just hanging around, having a bit of a feed on some web by the looks of it. Black beetly thing there, just try and pick it up without giving it the squish, which can be sometimes a bit tricky. Okay, I think I've got it, and in it goes. <sighs> The black beetle thing is digging down into the soil there. That's probably the best strategy to do. I think if you dig down, you get a pretty good chance of not being taken out by redback. Finding the old bottle was nice, and I'll put that in as a bit of a feature piece somewhere. Maybe up the back here with the bottle. Making sure it's not too square. Well, I've got some worms in there. The worms are still alive. They look like they're not moving, but they're still alive. And I've got the skink. So let me just grab a skink. 
Okay, that's the underneath of the skink there in my hands. I think these guys could be the major game changer in this tank. Now either they're going to take out the red backs or the red backs will take out them. And even putting that one in there, it's starting to look very mischievous. Well that one's making a home under the Millennium Falcon. And I've got the other one here. I just hope they can clean up these red backs. Uh, in he goes, or she. And again, it's looking very mischievous and looking for trouble. The thing with the red stripe is what you're after, lovey. Please take him out. Look at that, that red back is swaying. I think that's a little thing like uh, Daddy Longlegs do. It might be a bit of a threatening sign to that lizard. And I'm pretty sure that lizard, should I say skink, will take the red back out. That is what I'm gambling on here. Well, that skink looks like a bit of a Minecraft fan. I just saw him trying to do some digging. Yeah, looking for action, looking for action, climbing up the glass, but will it get past the Vaseline? This is the big test here. Will that skink get past the Vaseline no-go zone? I don't think it will. And I've got my earthworms to put in just to keep the condition of the soil up. I know they're going to do a lot of cleaning up for me. In they go. And believe me, they will love it in there. Well, the skinks are doing all they can to um, basically hide away. They like to be underneath things in cooler spots. And it looks like both of them are going to make the Millennium Falcon their home. Right, yo, well, just behind Thomas, I've done some remodeling there. I've moved a little water bottle feature and I've put a little reservoir in there for some water. And I'll put some water in there now because the skinks will love some water. I'll have to change that water out uh, every few days. I hope nothing else gets drowned in there. Uh, but you're getting a bit of a feel for what's going on in this tank. And those skinks are certainly moving about a lot. There's one there, just getting accustomed to what he's living in at the moment. And I really think those red backs are uncomfortable for the fact the skinks are in. And I'm really hoping that adding the skinks is a game changer in this and it'll start to swing the balance away from the red backs. As it stands, the red backs have had total dominance inside here. I don't think really anything that I've introduced up to this week has had any impact on their population. I think where the skinks are going to really play out important is when the redback spider egg sacs open up. And potentially within each egg sac, you've got 250 beautiful redback spiderlings. So by doing some simple maths, I believe we've got potentially around about a thousand redback spiderlings who are going to present themselves into this redback home slash prison. Well, as you can see, the Redbacks' home has actually become a very, very complex little affair. A lot of things happened uh, between week three and week four. I took a lot of time-lapse video, and I'll have to split that away as a separate video and explain exactly what went on. The time bomb that's going on in here at the moment is basically the egg sacs. Uh, I could be within a week of these hatching, or maybe less. Yes, understanding the egg sacs, I did some reading up, it is a little bit complex. There's a couple of things that have to go on. It has to be the right sort of environment as well and temperatures, uh, but it's a bit of an unknown. It's one of these things I just have to wait till I see spiderlings. Uh, but it's a very, very interesting thing that I've done here. Again, thank you, Beanmeister22. This has been absolute YouTube gold for me. Complete nut of gold. This box of deadly spiders, it's a bit like the Truman Show. Do you know that film? And it's a little bit like the Hunger Games. If I didn't feed these guys, uh, well, it'd be basically red back spider versus red back spider. Mind you, I have read that they can survive for hundreds of days without food. Maybe that's why they are taking over the planet. They are a very, very hardy spider, and they are very fierce at fighting and very good at killing things when they want to. So my week four report will be split into two videos. Of course, this is one of them and the extra critters that we added. And I'll also do another one where I'll show you the time-lapse footage that I did during the week. It was a very complex week. A lot of things happened. Some very curious deaths along the way. This video is too long for YouTube as it stands, so I better say goodbye. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now. Yes, I think the skinks are going to be the game changer.